I was uh, recently asked by uh, someone of, of modest influence at the national level what to do about pre-existing conditions. And uh, one of the things that I had in my previous proposal was the uh, state-based uh, sort of high-risk pool, which is a sort of a normal conservative response. And I was talking to some other people up at, at Heritage, and uh, another idea came out about something called a risk transfer pool. I don't know if you guys have worked with that at all. It's, um, it's a different concept instead of the high-risk pool. And this is jumping to a, a sort of a second subject, but it gets to the concept of federalism. So it gets to giving states the authority and autonomy to start to craft novel solutions. The basic concept between a high-risk pool, that's why a lot of people suggest it, is we take patients that are at increased risk, their insurance rates and payments are going to be higher, put them in a separate state-run pool to pull them out of the, the traditional insurance market that brings down the cost of the insurance market so businesses and individuals can afford insurance uh, more easily so you get more people into the insured pot. And, and it sort of makes sense, but the problem is, is the free market force behind that always isn't encouraging the insurance company to slide its up top 2% to that high-risk pool. So it essentially creates a system of yet another taxpayer-funded system to pay for more stuff. The idea that came out of Heritage is called a risk transfer pool, which was a fascinating study where you don't have this high-risk pool. There are, all the patients are managed in the private system. And then it's sort of a, a transfer system where the uh, insurers of it at the state level put money into a pot that distributes risk. So if one insurer randomly gets a disproportionate number of expensive cancer patients or transplant patients, that's allocated in sort of a post hoc analysis so they look at real data to see which company got a disproportionate number of which payments. So then it starts to get rid of this natural free market force where the insurer starts to avoid the, quote, expensive, difficult patients. So they take patients as they come they make their money by managing those patients well, but if a disproportionate number of folks with diabetes or transplants or whatever ends up in a certain insurer, the that, that risk is, is transferred between insurers. The main point I'm getting at with that is that's a state-based idea, not a federally-based idea. 